Are you broke? Do you own a rotary? Are you broke and own a rotary? Are you broke, own a rotary, and are worried about your compression? Have no fear, because in this week's episode, we're going to be showing you how to do a poor man's compression test. So, in this pretty simple guide, we're going to show you how to do a real basic compression test. I will say, it's not going to give you any numbers, it's going to tell you if you're worried about your engine, whether it's, got actual, or whether it's actually producing compression or not. Um, the principles in this guide, which we're using a first generation RX-7, um, the principles can be applied to any version of the rotary engine. What you do need to bear in mind is, that you ideally need to shut off, if it's an electronic fuel ignition for instance, you need to make sure that you've shut off the fuel and you've also killed the ignition. So in the FB that you're about to see, what we've actually done is we've disconnected the coil packs um, or the ignition coils to prevent the engine from firing. There's not a lot we can do about the fuel because the carburetor is going to be full of it. Uh, but on a, obviously on an EFI system, we'd recommend that you disconnect the fuel pump, fuse, relay, or obviously in some cases, uh, disconnecting the main or EGI relays on your particular model will also kill both the spark and the ignition. It is worth noting that you need to make sure that you kill the spark, otherwise you're running the risk of flames coming out of the side of your engine. And while that looks epic, pretty scary while you're trying to test it. Goes without saying, obviously, follow the guide, but it can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing, hence the reason why we're putting this guide, why we've put this video together. Um, but yeah, just be safe, um, do a little bit of research if you're really not sure what needs to be done, and most importantly, be safe. Don't be an idiot as well, that's important. So, without further ado, we're going to head back to the workshop and show you how to do a broke boys compression test. So the first thing you want to do, if your car's running coil packs, old style coil packs, like this FB or an FC, the easiest way to deactivate your coils is to actually just remove the ground cables. Do take note of which ones they're on. That one's actually quite loose, so I'm probably going to be fixing that later. Um, but just move those out of the way. That will stop you the coils from firing. Obviously, FB, FC, um, some of the Series 4s have got those. And obviously, you've got fuses and stuff if you're talking about Series 5, FC, FD, RX8, blah, blah, blah. So, that's that done. Next thing we need to do down there is remove the spark plugs. Okay, so we're going to pull the leading leads off. Our new leads which we installed are marked, so it's not a problem. If they're not marked, then take note of the positions that they, um, they're normally located in. Then, with a ratchet and a so uh, plug socket, oh, we'll crack the plugs off. With that done, we're going to remove the leading plug first on the front rotor. With that out, um, it's into the car to crank the car and listen for the noises. Okay, so with the front leading um, plug out of the engine, we're going to crank it over and what we want to be listening for is three evenly spaced compression pulses or what can be referred to as chuffs. So we're going to crank it over, have a listen and then we'll do the other side. Cool, so that's the front rotor. Next, we're gonna put the plug back in. Sounds nice and strong. We don't actually need to tighten this right down, we just need to shut it up. So when we do the rear one, we can actually hear it.
Okay, so with the rear plug out now, we're gonna do the same. Excellent, so in this case, both rotors are offering a good compression. Um, we've got nice evenly spaced chuffing noises between the two. Last test that you can do is we're going to pull both plugs out at this point. And see if we can listen, see if there's any unevenness between or stronger pulses between the front or the rear rotor. Okay, both plugs out. Sounds nice and even. So we're happy with that. So the numbers are good and um, yeah, you can be happy. Um, obviously, if you're, if you're an unlucky kind of person, then you can always get a, um, essentially, you're going to get an engine with a face down or a rotor down for argument's sake, or worst case, an entire engine down. Um, so, we're going to do a quick edit here to demonstrate maybe what you'd be listening for. Um, so, we'll crank it back over and yeah, I'll badly edit the audio. So you get an idea of what I'm talking about. So yeah, that would be a, I suppose an engine with a face down. If the numbers are bad and it's not making the right noises. <laughs> you have no cornflakes. Or You'd have no noise come from half the rotor if you had a rotor down, or no noise from all the engine if you had a complete engine down. But yeah, essentially, that's what we'd normally refer to as a poor man's compression test. So it's not gonna give you any numbers, but it's gonna tell you whether your engine's actually still producing compression or not. So the last thing for us to do is hook everything back up, put the plugs back in. Tighten them down. and hook the HT legs back up. Okay, with that done, last thing for us to do now is to hook the coil packs back up. Okay, so we're gonna put the leading one up. So we'll have to tighten these up at a later date. Then the trailer one, these are very loose by the way, so they need to be sorted. Um, but yeah, with that done, obviously, um, we're good to fire the car up once it's got an alternator. It is worth noting that with this test, it's not a replacement for a proper compression test. However, it's a great, cheap, essentially free way if you've got a socket spanner or a socket for a... Let's try again. If you've got a spark plug socket and a ratchet, it's pretty much all you need. Um, so it's a real cheap way of finding out if your compression's okay or if it's dropped off, i.e. you've got lost compression on a face, a rotor or the entire engine. Um, again, it doesn't substitute a proper compression test, but if you can't start the car, again, it's a, well, if you can't start the car, it's a way of at least telling whether you've got a problem or not. comes back bad, at least you know you've probably got to get it to a specialist to get it looked out professionally. So, yeah. Um, with that said, good luck. So, as you can see, it's a pretty simple process. Um, as we mentioned before we got to the guide, each vehicle is going to be slightly different with regards to accessing those spark plugs. An FB is ideal because there's a crap ton of room in there and you can see what we're doing. Um, but yeah, each vehicle will be different, so do a little bit of research. Obviously, with something like the second or third generation RX-7s, you're going to want to access the spark plugs from the top of the engine. For the RX-8, you're going to need to take the left-hand side wheel off and access the spark plugs through the left-hand side wheel well. Um, RX-8, you'll want to disconnect the crank angle sensor, which is the ideal thing which will kill both fuel and spark. On something like a Series 5 FC, for instance, 
again, if you disconnect the crank angle sensor, which is like a distributor without a top on it, that'll do the same thing for you. FD, I believe from memory, it's the main re or the main fuse or the EGI fuse. Actually, I think the FD's the main fuse and a Series 4 RX7, so a, the early FC, um, you'd want to disconnect or remove the EGI fuse. Um, as always, please do the research and check you're disconnecting the correct fuse. If we get a chance, I'll put a guide to which part you need to disconnect and which model. Um, but yeah, with that said, we hope you found the video pretty informative. Um, we also hope your engine's not dead. Um, but if it is, obviously you'll find information on our website, which is essexrotary.co.uk. If you need to order an engine rebuild kit, because the poor man's compression test didn't quite come out how, how you wanted it to, you'll, you'll be able to do that at essexrotarystore.com. You'll also find us on social media. On Facebook, you'll find us as Essex Rotary Specialists. And on Instagram and Twitter, at Essex Rotary. Um, with that all said, guys, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and smash the subscribe button. See the comments down the bottom. If you've got any questions, again, down the bottom. Um, but yeah, with that all said, we'll catch you again soon. Right, before we go, I just want to mention we've released a brand new service on the website, a Premix monthly subscription service, where you'll get Premix at the beginning of each month, month in, month out. If you want more information, check out our website. Subscribe.